Hey guys, today I'm going to be showing you how to um, create a variable chamfer in Fusion 360. So if I was to, for a bit of a background, if I was to try and fill at this point here, um, I can click variable radius, which allows me to have a different radius at the bottom to at the top. So, you know, ca causing a sort of slope effect. However, if I was to try and chamfer this point here, the only options I get is equal distance, which is the same distance at the top and bottom, so it's not a slope, uh, two distances, which cause, uh, which change like each distance individually. It's not the difference distance at the top at the bottom. It's still a uniform amount of slope either side. And distance and angle, which is the same. It's the same amount of um, slope at the top and bottom. So in order to do this, there's a workaround. And first off, what you want to do is um, create an offset plane. So you want the, the bottom plane, but you, I want it at, at this point, the end of the line. So there you go. I have done that now create the sketch on this and I can show you what I mean if you didn't understand now from whatever point forward I'm drawing on this surface this uh, pink surface of um, the model so I can now draw the end of the, the chamfer so I go and create um, so yeah if I was to try and create a, a sketch on this my cursor doesn't snap to any of the points that already exist so it's not really it's not useful i can try and guesstimate it but that's not that's not ideal it's not it doesn't work like that so another well what i need to do to fix this is go down to well click on the point that you want to be able to interact with so i want to be able to interact with it to be honest i want to be able to interact with this line here so i go down to um Project include and then include 3D geometry. Now I can then interact with that. So I go back to top and I click on the line. And now I can create a, a line from there. Um, what I've decided myself is I'm going to create a 30 millimeter line. That is at a 20 degree angle. Oh, no, 25, I think. Yeah, sure. Um, and then I can finish this sketch here. So I've, I've got that. And that's the path that I want this one to cut at. So next, I want to do um, create a sketch on this surface. Create line. So I can, I can start it from any point that I want. So I can start it from there. And that would give me a... Uh, a chamfer, a, a different like chamfer on that end as well, but I want to start it at this point and I want it to go up to there. However, I need to set that distance to 30 millimeters, which I have apparently. Okay, perfect. Um, and then I can finish the sketch. So now I click on the surface, I go over to sweep. I click the path that I want to sweep and the profile and it automatically knows that I want to cut this bit and I click OK and ta-da I've created a little cross section there thank you guys for watching and I shall see you next time